Welcome to 411carline.com. You can find us at 411carline.com. On our website, you'll find pricing information, vehicle information, vehicle photos, as well as a free Carfax. Click the Carfax Advantage dealer icon to view the free Carfax. 952-540-9000 is our phone number. Give us a call or shoot us a text to ask any questions or to set up an appointment. We are by appointment only, so please do call in advance. We appreciate that. All of our vehicles go to third-party shops for inspections. Safety mechanical and road test inspections are performed. We do it every safety mechanical and maintenance repairs the shop recommends we bring it to you. You're welcome to have it inspected prior to buying it as well. Just ask us about our policy on that. Lastly, aftermarket warranties are available on all vehicles, no matter the year, make, model, or miles. Ask us about those or it'll be stapled to the Carfax when you come in. You'll have to bear with me. There's a little bit of wind today. There is also a CrossFit gym next door, so you might hear some yelling or some loud music. So let's start in the front here. Front bumper on this one's in decent shape. Uh, it's got a couple little scuffs on this side here. Uh, but the plastic seemed to be in pretty good condition. Must have had something mounted here at some point in time. It is a work truck after all. Headlights on this one are beautifully clear. The hood is actually in pretty decent shape. Um, there are some chips that have been touched up here and there. There's a little bit of clear coat damage on the side of it. Um, again, it's a work truck, so a uh, little ding on that side. It's really hard to see in this bright light, but there's a couple dings on this fender as well. Uh, this truck has no rust. It's originally from California, or California, Colorado, uh, and it, I brought it out of Kansas. So, um, but it was only in Kansas for a brief, brief time. I think a year or so, if you look at the Carfax. So, um, it's got great all-season tires on it. Black steel wheels are in good shape. They've been painted, I would imagine. So. Um, Again, it's a work truck, so there are scratches, there's little chips, that sort of stuff. Um, little dings, little chips along here, scratches. So it's got a uh, utility box on it. So, pretty sweet, pretty sweet box. So seems to be in pretty good shape. Uh, I think someone did spray some white on it at some point in time. It looks like it, it was not me, but, um, but yeah, it looks like someone might've sprayed some white on it at some point in time. It's got a tailgate, spares back here. Uh, somebody sprayed some grippy stuff on it too. So again, it's a work truck, so it's definitely not perfect, but these are so hard to find with the 8.1. There's a dent right there. Same doors on this side. So jack and everything's on that side there. So you can see getting tires in good shape. This side's pretty clean. Uh, it's got a couple of scratches, a couple of imperfections there. It's a little cleaner than the driver's side, so same with this fender. One little scratch that's been touched up there. But again, it is a work truck, so. So let me show you the frame and the rockers and everything. So that's this is part of why I bought it along with the 8 one. It is super clean. Cap corners, underside. Interior's in de decent shape. It does have some minor wear and tear. Uh, the seats are all in good condition. Headliners there. Dash has a little bit of paint peel, which is not uncommon on these. So both the door panels are in good shape. Usually these door panels get beat up. So switch switch panels are actually solid in there. Show you into the back side here. Again, pretty clean. I'll have to see if we can put that spare back up underneath there, so see if the shop can do that. Again, clean rockers, no rust. Does have power windows, power locks. I'm not sure about keyless entry. It does not have a fob with it, but But I would assume it doesn't have keyless entry, but I guess I'll have to call, oops, call the dealer and find out. 
All right, this has change engine oil. We just changed it. We must have forgot to reset it. Um, so this has 121, 835 on it for miles. No lights on the dash other than a seatbelt light because I'm not wearing it currently. Um, the uh, radio, it's a standard work truck radio, AC works, heat works. It does have dual climate control, so you can control both zones, the AC and heat here. Um, it is four wheel drive, it does have brake controller, not sure if it's hooked up or not, so. Um, let's see, what else here? Dash is free of any cracks or anything. Um, the, uh, does have automatic headlamps, which are here. Oh, nose power locks, keyless entry, power mirrors, I already covered all that, so tow haul mode. Um, I think that's about it on the interior. Let's hop out and show you under the hood. My phone does pick up small engine valve train noise, so sometimes it sounds a little more noisy than it would in person. So, pretty clean big block though. Again, you don't have rust in the areas you'd usually have rust on these. So. Well, that is the 2005 Toyota 2500. If you have any questions, feel free to visit our website, goingoncarline.com. Give us a call, 952-540-9000. Thanks for your time today. Have a great day.